今日は ATA インターナショナルブラックス。今日ね、カバチアランゾーメン。フォーリー。でんの、ソウィゴ。ベブ。フォーリー。でんの、ソウィゴ。イエミナ。イエマン、ビッグパン、ブレスオプトアマイ、ビューティフルアンワンダフルピープス。アイゴバイデネーマ、アフリカンディアーティスト。アンウェルコムトゥ ATA インターナショナルブラックス。What's going on? And you know what we do over here is entertainment, upliftment, motivation, positive moves, positive vibes, and positive thoughts. You see the pre. And you know we also do news and reviews of what's going on in our musical society and certain little things that is even going on in the society. See, maybe we kind of touch on it and try to seek or try to pre or see the best out of it. See? So now you know we like to kick off the vlogs with the thought of the day. The thought of the day today is、um, the, pay attention to the little things that happen to us in life. And what I mean by the little things, I mean like the little mistakes that happen. Because you see, those smaller mistakes is, is, is an eye opener. That, you know, be careful because something bigger could have happened or can happen. or, You know what I mean? So don't rule out or don't. I take those little mistakes for granted. Like, I appreciate the little mistakes, you see me? And just know, say, yo, it could have been worse. You know what I mean? So, I appreciate the little things that happen to us that is bad. And also, I appreciate the good. You see me? But just pay attention to the little things. But, and don't let them just slip under the rug and feel like, okay, that are small things. And then continue with the daily liberty. Sometimes, some things happen for us to just kind of slow down a bit, kind of cut back a little bit. and Our movements, whether our movements is you know, a, a bit aggressive, because sometimes it's a bit aggressive, so sometimes we just need to cut back and just be mindful and be careful of what we are doing. You see me? Yeah, so pay attention to those small stuff that happen to us in life and then just try to move in a better way or in a better manner or in a better fashion. See? Yeah, man. Big up and bless up. Please, if you reach this far in the video, please like the video because it doesn't cost you anything to like it. And what YouTube might do is recommend this video to other people or other channels or other viewers or things that other viewers like to watch. You see me? And you don't know what we do over here in ATA. At ATA International Vlogs. Yeah, man. Big up and bless up to all of my new and foundation subscribers. Nothing but love you. Yeah, big up and bless up to all the people them who has been supporting this channel. And there's a few things I want to run over. Like, I want to、um, make it be an eye opener like, for people because I know some things might have slipped under, you know what I mean, under our eyes. So we, we didn't get any time to pay attention to it. One of the things that I want to talk about is life insurance. It's so important that if you don't have life insurance, please go out and seek the best.、Um, Go out and seek some knowledge about getting life insurance and why you should get life insurance and,、um, and, and, and what it is for. You understand what I say? Because life insurance, it, it's a bit, it helps out family or it helps out i n d i v i d u a l in certain situations. For instance, life insurance or getting an insurance, it can help you wherein if you, you have a job and you, for instance, you lost your job, you can be getting some money from the.、Um, From that life insurance money. See? And another thing is, it also helps, it's very crucial or very beneficial in, say, for instance, you have a debt in the family or not debt in the family. If you should pass away, which is the primary holder of that life insurance, it can help out your family to accumulate whether it won't be a small amount of money, which I know. Any, in time of death, any amount of money or money contribution to a family is very beneficial. You see me? So it can help out when, say, you, the primary holder, passed away. It can help out your family by, you know what I mean? Your family gets some money. So it can help with funeral a r r a n g e m e n t or whatever type of arrangement that is being held or held for you or put in place for you. You see me? So don't rule out getting life insurance or don't rule out looking into getting life insurance because it's very important and it's very helpful. To each individual and also family. You see me? Yeah, this is something that I want to talk about because I, I talk about it already, but I know a lot of people it might pass over their heads so they didn't get any chance to really, you know, pre it or see what it is about. So now, I want to talk about some things. I'm not sure what's going on in the inter- on the international scene. I'm not sure what's going on with Jamie Foxx, but、um, I think it's alleged that he's in the hospital or. 
he may he might be out now or he is going through some kind of medical situation. So just pray for Jamie Foxx, you understand me? I say, yeah man, I'm one of our comedian man where you don't know so we love him same way, you know? And a good youth same way, you know what I mean? Enjoy movie or enjoy him sitcom or enjoy whatever series that he have going on. You understand me? I say, yeah, so big up. Respect, brother. Yeah man, so you see me? Yeah man, so that's why I think the man with Jamie Foxx, you see it? Yeah, another thing we want to talk about, Lil Bozy and T.I. squash their differences um, because as, you, as we all know, there was something, some kind of thing going on we are in Lil Bozy always a stand-up guy that you don't really like rats and you know, say rats um, is people like, is, is informant to the Fed people who, you know, know of certain things and they're informed to the Feds and you know what I mean? It was alleged that T.I. is an informant and you know what I mean? Our, a person that was spreading propaganda. And you don't know, Little Boozy is a stand up guy where he said, Once you're a rat, you don't want to have nothing to do with you. And as we all know, the two had a giant album that was coming out. And because of this little riff, Little Boozy, it caused Little Boozy to say, Oh, he don't really want to do anything with T.I. But the two um, hopped on the phone and mend their differences. You don't know, because we all grown, man. I hope majority and all situation could be like this when you and a person have a differences you guys can hop on the phone and you know what i mean and then we can talk about the situation and then we can have the best out of it so i mean after then we, we can really come to an understanding or an agreement between between both parties and then you know what i mean the situation that was at hand is no longer you know what i mean like you know we are both understand each other and understand the situation and then we kind of mend it and know say all right yo that is how, how it is. You see me? Yeah, man. So, big up and bless up to each and everybody, man. If, like me say, if you have just reached this far in this vlog, please give it, a, give it a thumbs up. Like the vlog. Also, subscribe. You subscribe, it don't cost you anything. You understand me? I say, yeah, and if you give this video a like, like I said, YouTube might recommend this video to others. So, big up Boozy and big up TI. You see me? Yeah man, for you squash them differences. You don't can done no two kings them see me, you see it? Yeah, and if you two kings them can come together and talk about a certain situation and then put it to rest, you don't know say yo cool that's a good move, that's a good move. You see me? That's a great move. So another thing we want to talk about, um I think like a week ago or so forth there there was like a there was like um some some goal, I think goal or maybe money. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. So there was something stolen at the Toronto Pearson International Airport. Goal, I think. It was gold that worth two million or two bill, but it worth it was very valuable. But anyway, for anybody to really get over the airport and steal something like that, you have to think about it and know say yo this person know about this person you have to be somebody who knows about the who knows about like like who knows about the system it has to be an inside job this can't be no any ordinary person you know getting over the airport to make such a bus or, or, or to rob certain people you know say yo that's not happening you understand because for any little man for real get over the airport which is highly highly secured believe me say yo it not go go that way there you understand me i say yeah, so it have to be an inside job. You see me? So, you don't know. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. It have to be, this is something that was planned. You see me? And it have to be in the making that it, it was planned from a long time now. You understand me? I say, yeah. So that's just how I see the situation. You see it? Yeah. So, another thing we want to talk about is massacre. It's alleged that, um, it's alleged that they, they, I think they, um, there's a little thing going around with his baby mama. I'm not sure if it's his baby mother or what, but it's alleged that they beat up her son, our massacre's son, got beaten up, and they, you know what I mean? And they put makeup on his face to hide his bruises and all of them things. Eh? Yo, this thing is uncalled for. You understand me? So we have to kind of draw the line and kind of speak to our kids. You know what I mean? For instance, when time they go out on the road, like try to be. Try to be um, you know, a person who follows the law and not somebody who is above the law. 
because a lot of this time, a lot of this aggression comes from within the family. These kids learn of this, this aggression from within the family or even from their peers. So we have to kind of teach our kids, say, yo, you know what I mean? Once we out on the road, like, try to live good. Don't try to live above the law and don't try to do certain things wherein you will get yourself in a trouble because there will be repercussion. You understand? And sometimes it's the repercussion that really falls back. Like they say, what goes around comes around. So sometimes the things that you might do to somebody, it wasn't that drastic. And then when in return something should happen to you, it will be so drastic that, you know what I mean? You say, but why? You know? But what goes around comes around. Yeah, man, big up and bless up to, um, to everybody who will like what's going on over here. There's a certain things, other things that I want to talk about. You have... Ninja man and pretty dance situation. I know I touched on this on my last vlog and you know Right now I hear that pretty Dan is getting a lot of death threat just because of what he said about ninja man and you know what I mean I only hope say Nothing no really happened to her which I don't think anything gonna happen to her But at the same time, you know, I think pretty Dan should have known her role which I did Talk about that and say yo, you know, she have to be mindful and be careful I what she say about Ninja Man because Ninja Man is one that really um he really put on for Jamaica, especially the reggae and dancehall. And I don't think Pretty Dan did her research and really check and see that yo Ninja Man is really an icon when you come on to reggae music. You know what I mean? She was kinda disrespecting him and you have to know like Ninja Man really set trend for a lot of these maybe not younger artists but artists who is in his caliber, artists who came out right after him, you know what I mean? Because he was like one of the first, you know, in reggae and dancehall music to be doing, you know what I mean? What he's doing or he's one of the first to kind of put Jamaica on the map to with the reggae and dancehall. You understand? I'm not ruling out whoever passed before him or whoever was there before him. But Ninja Man is an icon and one to be reckoned with. You understand? He's a staple when you come on to dancehall music. You see me? Yeah man, big up and bless up. Let me see if there's anything else I want to touch on before we go. You know what I mean? Big up and bless up to each and everyone. You see, pray. Yeah man, and yo, we have a couple of artists them that was in prison. is currently out. Big up and bless up, sir. And I hope them more up all. I'm not sure if I talked about it in my last vlog. But you don't know, Laden is a free man, he do his time, big up Laden. And you are show crime, bad bad artist out of Fort Jenna. I'm not sure if he's still down with the Fort Jenna. But you don't know, say, bad bad artist, big up Laden. Yeah, Laden is now out and he's a free man. You know that go. And you have, um, so I say, Laden, show crime, and Tommy Lee, bad bad artist. You see, pre, your yeah, man. So you have three bad artists on road. So you know that go. Yeah man, three legend, bad bad artists them and I hope so them come out and run road you support how you supposed to run. Yeah man, you have a reggae and dancehall music we kinda are missing like some of our you know some of our artists them who they behind bar who is very influential. You yeah, understand me I say because as we all know the youths them are run the dancehall now but according to a lot of them some of them recognize say they're doing dancehall but it's infused you know what i mean but some of them say yo they were doing trap dancehall so you don't know so we still want the the dancehall because that's what a lot of people resonate or that's what a lot of people love you see me yeah man so big up all the artists them with their road mm -hmm. there, were not, there was another incident that took place i think last week in toronto canada wherein there was an artist, a female artist, performing on stage, and then now you have another, and then now you have an unknown artist came up on stage and said they were styling him. You know what I mean? There's few things we want to look at. I mean, the girl, the artist shouldn't took the mic, shouldn't take the mic from the girl. You know what I mean? You should have make the girl at least do her set, and when she do her set, then he could have went up and tried to do his thing. But if you really look in the situation there is two disrespect that kind of took place wherein he took the mic from the girl i know right away the, in, the girl is in her feelings because any artist would have done them feelings if somebody take the mic from you you know what i mean some artists is understandable some of them not really you know what i mean but at the same time 
for him jog the mic from the girl. You know the girl in her feelings. And then now he start talk and then he walk back past the girl and kind of move the girl out of, out of his way with his hand. So I think right there and then the girl probably was kind of standing her grounds and then she felt shoved or she felt pushed away a little bit. So I think with, because of how she was feeling, she felt that, yo, this guy disrespect me already by taking the mic and now he's going to walk back past me and kind of shove me out of the way. So I think she just kind of, you know, give him a little push and push him out of the way. And meanwhile, he was stumbling, stumbling or meanwhile, he was falling. He decided to take the mic and whip it right at the girl's face. You see me? So it's crucial, man. You understand me? I say, yeah, so John. So it's two things there. I mean, the guy shouldn't whip the mic at the girl, you know? And then now, anybody wouldn't kind of push off anybody to put myself in that situation. I mean, if somebody take a mic from me and then I go walk past me and then want to shoot me out of the way again, I don't go really stand up there and take the disrespect like that, make them push me out of the way. I go shove them off or flash off them hand or push them away. You see me? So I just think it's just a reaction from the girl and then the guy just take it a different way and just decide to say, yo, you want to whip the mic in a girl's face. You shouldn't disrespect the girl like that still. You understand me? I say, yeah, but you don't know a thing. Go. Yeah, I think the girl name is Diverse. Big up to Diverse. So right now, she's doing a lot of interview and she said she just turn it around and making this be like an, an eye opener for her wearing. She just, um, she just like uh, make it be a situation wherein she can turn this into something positive you know so she did a song a song called i think man's world very nice song you know what i mean yeah man big up her just continue doing doing your good job diverse you know what i mean nobody expect or nobody should uh, hurt anybody just like that is it mm -hmm. big up and bless up to all the people them man if you tune into the channel this far please make sure say you like make sure say you like make sure say Leave a comment so we can elaborate on any topic that you guys don't understand. There's also a situation going on with, the, with, with a new artist by the name of Talop. You know what I mean? We are in the producer that was producing her that was kind of sh shedding the limelight on her. is saying that like he don't want to work with her no more because I think of her aggression or how she, her, her style. You see me? Because her style is a bit, I would say, raw. And when I say raw, I mean a bit like hardcore. And I think the, the producer don't really stand for that. So, because the producer don't really stand for the hardcoreness, the producer is saying, I think, I'm not sure if that's the situation why he don't really want to work with her. You know what I mean? Because of her rawness. But at the same time, yo, if you guys can work out on the differences, work out on the differences and make it work. Because Talop is a good artist, a great artist. And sometimes we look at say we want to make money right away. But sometimes it's just the work that we put in. You know what I mean? Our blessings will come. You see it? So now, my people, big up and bless up. Make sure so you guys is following me on Instagram. Follow my official YouTube page, at African The Artist. Instagram, same name, African the artist. Yeah, one word, all one word together. Make sure you follow my Spotify. Make sure you follow my iTunes. Audio Mac. Big up and bless up to all the people them who has been supporting. I recently dropped a video on my YouTube channel called Conceded. Make sure you guys go over, check it out. Let me know if you guys like it, love it. Leave a comment. You know what I mean? Yeah. And big up all the people them and bless up. And just remember the thought of the day. So sometimes the small things in life, it will help us. Because it's an eye opener, make it be an eye opener to, to our life, you see me? Because it always can be worse. So appreciate them little small things, eh? you see me? Yeah, them small things eh, is like an eye opener to make you kind of move more vigilant and make you move more better in you know, whatever going on in the world. You hear that? Yeah, man, big up and bless up to all the people them who tune in, man. You don't know this is ATA International Vlogs. I'm your host, African the Artist. Big up and bless up to all the people them who tune in. You see it fully, then now. So we go right there, so.